Okay, 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 listen, listen up really quick. I understand that intro wasn't the best of mine by like any means. I'm working on a permanent one that's gonna be really cool, so that's kind of just like a little, tiny little placeholder. But, whew, okay. Now that's out of the way, I'm Mika from Mika Makes Art. That's something the intro did say. But today, I'm going to do something that I literally had so much fun doing. But before I go into it, I guess I should tell you where I got this idea from. So I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Nerdy Crafter. If you don't know who she is, I highly recommend you check her out. She goes over craft kits and like makes these amazing sculptures. And of course, I'll link her channel down below. And she's absolutely amazing. And about a week ago, she released a video called I Try First Custom TikTok Soda Can Art Craft. And I was like, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Why not try it? And if you have seen some of my past videos, you know I've done a few sculptures back in my day. But like, I kind of really want to get more into it because I... Oh my god, I know I said really like two times, but I genuinely really enjoy making stuff like out of clay and like sceneries and like painting it and being like, Wow, look at that! I did that! So... As you can see, by like the drawing, like the sketch I have, and kind of what's already looking like, I decided to do a dragon. Um, I don't really have any main reasons for a dragon. I just thought it might be easier to make it look like it's going to the body because it's like a little snaky snake. Also, as you can see, I'm starting to color it. The can itself is a Coca-Cola can because um, personally, my favorite drink is Dr. Pepper. But every time I drink Dr. Pepper, I had the bottles. And then the person who drinks out of a can is my ha in my house is my dad, and like, he only drinks diet or zero sugar stuff, so you know, I had to work with what I had. And I thought, okay, Coca-Cola, what's sort of like a rival company to Coca-Cola? Pepsi. What if I have this like Pepsi dragon just like going through, destroying this Coca-Cola bottle, and that's why for the dragon I went with blue, white, and red, the same colors as the Pepsi logo. Also, I haven't mentioned it yet, but ooh, look, it's a new camera angle. Yeah, I was gonna do like my usual videos where I kind of like have the camera above me, but then I realized uh, then you're only gonna see like the dragon's head and maybe like some of its tail and like <sighs> that. Uh, you know, I didn't think that would be the most entertaining, so I was like, okay, let's do this. Also, I just want to get this out of the way. Yes, the back of this dragon, especially the head area, looks a... I, I can't even joke to myself. Looks really, really questionable. I am really trying to get better, and next time, um, instead of Play-Doh, I literally have a whole bunch of oven-baked clay, so where it could, like, keep its shape. I just didn't feel like using it yet. Mm. No excuses, but... I am going to try to get better because, like I said, I really enjoyed making this. And I guess I should talk about the process of how I made this. As you know, first, I grabbed a can. Any can will do. And um, in a Nerdy Crafter's video, she has an EXO knife to cut out the holes, but like, I don't think I have one. So, <laughs> I grabbed a regular kitchen knife. By the way, um, I, I don't recommend this. And I very carefully just stabbed the can with a lot of force. And I was like, oh, wow, uh, this isn't going to work. So I grabbed some scissors and then using the cut I got from the knife, I cut out two holes, as you see. And I filled the bottle with, a, whoa, 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 go back. First, I made sure I like rinsed out and dried the bottle because like, that's kind of nasty. Also, by the way, I got Starbucks during this time. My go-to Starbucks drink is a half-and-half half sweet tea and lemonade. So good. But anyway, I filled the bottle with some aluminum foil because, uh, yeah. Because as you can see, I need the dragon to, like, stick out. I didn't want the dragon to, like, sink in. And, once again, I gotta say, I love metallic paint. I bought a blue that I've used before, which I'll use again this dragon in a bit. I have some gold. And I have some silver, and yes, like I said, a bottle cost me three bucks, but I love it. And it worked perfectly for this art piece, because as you can see, I did the holes that kind of look like aluminum was like coming out of it. And like, I think that looked really cool. And then once I had the aluminum painted, um, I took the sketch, as you can see, I'm sculpting on a sketchbook. I drew out like dragon and stuff, and I was like, okay, this is the plan. 
And then I tried my best to follow that plan using Play-Doh. And um, overall, I'm generally pretty proud. I'm generally really surprised that like, um, I don't know what you would call them, like, ears? No. You see by the ears I have like, white hair? Question mark? And I'm surprised those are staying, keeping their shape. I'm also really surprised some of like the red hairs kept their shape, but like, kudos. And then once I started sculpting the dragon and I got it all positioned, I covered it all with white. So as you know, the Play-Doh was colored. So the white made all the colors I put on top of it, like the blue and the red really pop. And then once I did the white, I went in with the colors that you saw with the blue, red. Of course, I did multiple coats. And what you see me right now is I'm putting a coat of that metallic blue just to give a dragon more of a shine. I sadly do not have a metallic red yet. I'll collect all the colors eventually. But what I did do to give it some like definition is like, I got a lighter shade of red and went in at the tips to make it look more dimensional, I guess. And also, um, you might be like, why are you putting white dots on the can? Well, um, truthfully, I just thought they looked nice and like added a little something extra. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. It generally means a lot. And comment down below, do you think I should do more sculptures in the future? And if the answer is yes, you should do more sculptures, what kind of things would y'all like to see? And we're almost to the re... re there we are. Anyway, here's the final piece. Overall, I really, really like how it came out. I could work more on the back, and I'll try to get better at that for the next one. But yeah, I really like the coloring and the concept. Thank you so much, Nerdy Crafter, for the idea. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, see you soon.